Assalamu alaikum my friends. Welcome to my channel Learn Arabic with Shazia. This is the next section of lesson number 13. In this section you are going to learn about the same things but in feminine. So let's see what are the feminine uh, the means pronouns and nouns and ismal ishara. So in the first line as you can see man haulai Fatayat. Now this is the plural of, um, of the fe feminine young girls. As I told you, as you can see the last ending Alif Wata. These are from the rules of Jama Muanna Salim. As I have told you uh, about the Jama Muzakkar Salim. Now here it is the Jama Muanna Salim. As the name says, Jama is the plural. Mu'annas means feminine and salim means sound. The actual noun, the structure of the actual noun will not change and there will be uh, an addition of alif and ta. As we learn for Jama Muzakkar, wow, wa noon was added with the noun. Same and similarly here in Jama Muannas, Alif and Ta is added for Jama Muannas. And what are the rules for Jama Muannas? Number one, they are used only for feminine words. Feminine words. And second, in, uh, it is a bit different from Jama Muzakkar Salim. It will not change to Ya, but it remains intact as Alif and Ta in all the cases. Only the Harakas change. Now, there is a little bit of difference in Harakas. So, in Marfu case, you can see a a uh, tanmeen dhamma or a single dhamma if it's a marifa you will see a single dhamma or if it's nakira you will see a tanmeen dhamma so you will see a dhamma dhamma in marfu case third in mansub and majroor what happens in mansub wa majroor what happens the uh, haraka is only and only kasra no fatha number four that's very important in jama muannas no fatha you will not see a fatha in jama muannas if it's in mansub case it will not show by fatha this is really very important this point in mansub case it will not show the fatha but in both the cases, it will be recognized with a kasra. For example, al fatayat. If I write al al fatayat, fatayat. If I write al al fatayat, what happens? Uh, now you see this is in majroor case. So, seeing the harf jar, you will put a kasra here. But, if I uh, make it into mansub, ra'aytu uh, al-fatayata, since this is a fail and this is the file to the mir and this is my full bihi. So, would you put a fatha here? No, it's absolutely wrong in jama muannas. What are we going to do is we will put a kasra in mansub case also. And how will you recognize this? This is in mansub case, even though it has a kasra. Look for the verb or the position in the sentence or look for the verb coming before it or the file coming before it. And if it's a harf jar in majroor case, look for a harf jar. And then you decide whether this noun is in mansub or majroor case. So that's how you're going to do your part in recognizing whether it's a mansub or a majroor. So in this case, 
a questioning tool is here so that means no effects on the coming noun and haulai is the plural for hadhi and hadha both it's used for male and female and this is for ismal ishara lil qareeb ismal ishara lil qareeb how will you say lil qareeb qaf ra ya and ba Qareeb means for near things. al fatayatu having a damma over it because it's in marfu case. Ya Maryamu. Now Maryam is a feminine name and it will have a single haraka and following the rules of harf nida. Hunna. Now this damir is used for plural feminine. What was the damir that we use for plural male? Hum. Ha and Meem here, Ha and Noon. This Noon is actually the Damir Noon Niswa. This is an extra information. Noon Niswa. It shows the plurality that we are talking about plural feminine. Zamilati. Now Zamilat is especially the plural of Zamila. Feminine word Zamila. What was the uh, noun for uh, the male uh, friends? Z Zamil, only Zamil. And now we are dealing with feminine, uh, feminine noun Zamila with the Tamar Buta. So what are you going to do? Remove the Tamar Buta and make Zami Alif Anta. Alif and the Zamilat. So that's how we get the feminine plural here. But what's happening here? And you want to say my friends, my female friends. So attaching a ya mutakallim at the end. So you will attach a ya with the ta. So it becomes Zamilati, my female friends. They are my female friends. A akhawatun hunna. So this is the interrogative questioning. A, are they your sisters? A akhawatun. So the plural of ukht is akhawat. See the alif and ta. This is the plural of ukht. Hunna. Hunna are they your sisters? Naam. Hunna akhawatun. Yes, they are sisters. Min, uh, sorry. Man abu hunna. Who is man abu hunna? Who are their fathers? Abu hunna ashekhu. Now in Arabic, when you take name of some elder, you say ashekh. Abu hunna, their father is. So this is our Muqtada. Shaykhu, now this is the name and it is the khabar for us. Ashaykhu Bilalun. And this is an Arabic name. That's why having a Tanin Damatan. Ummu Hunna, their mother. So we have a Muqtada. Ummu plus Damir Ummu Hunna. Ustazati. Ustaza as from Ustaz. Ustaz, we have addition of Tamar Buta, we get Ustaz. And now adding Yamutakallim with it. So we have Ustazati, my teacher. And their mother is my, te uh, my teacher. Aina Baituhunna, where is their house? So Baituhunna. Now, here also we have a noun and a damir. So we have an idafa. Here also we have a noun and a damir. So we have idafa. Here also noun and a damir. We have idafa. They are all idafa. Even this is idafa. Noun plus damir. They are all idafa. So let's move on to the next portion of the lesson. By tu hunna same idafa. Qareebun, this is our Muqtada. 
and Qaribun is our khabar as it is nakira. Baytuhunna, their house is because and is is coming in between. Anything after is, is khabar. So Baytuhunna, their house is nearby. Minal madrasati, due to harfjar, we have a kasra here. So this is the end of the conversation showing you the plural nouns, feminine nouns, then plural feminine uh, damirs and ismail isharas. So let's do the tamari. Tamari means exercises. Same, there are, it's the same lesson as we did before is the only difference is we are doing it with the feminine nouns now how will means to change how will al mubtada change the mubtada fi jumalil atiya in the coming sentences ila jama to the to uh, jama kama like hoa it is muwadda clearly shown fil misal in the example misal is Hazihi bintun. It's a singular hazihi and bint is singular. So hazihi is changed to haulai. As you know, it's used for both male and female. Haulai bint banat. Banatu. So they have given all the plural nouns here. Hazihi talibatun. From talib with the addition of tamarbuta, we get taliba. Mudaris with the addition of Tamarbuta, we get Mudarrisa, Tabib, Tabiba, Muslim, Muslima. So as you can see, only adding Tamarbuta makes the noun into feminine. So Havihi Talibatun, Haulai Talibatun. Now you need to make all these nouns into Jama Mu'anna Salim. So Jama Mu'anna Salim is addition of Alif Wata at the end. This is the suffix actually, if I can say like that. It's a suffix addition after the noun. Now, Talibat, Hazihi Mudarrisatun. Haulai Mudarrisatun. So, how are you going to write Mudarrisat? Uh, I'll only write the noun. Mudarrisat. Mudarrisatun. And since it's a nakira, so we will write nakira. Hazihi tabibatun. Tabi. Tabi. Bat. Tabibatun. Muslimah. Muslimatun. So let's move on to the next portion. As you can see, I'm just adding the suffix alif wata for jama muhanna salim. Hazihi zawja. From zawj becomes zawja means, actually zawj means couple. But zawj can also be used for husband and zawja for wife. So what is the plural of zawja? Means zawjat. Now with the zawj, uh, remove the tamar buta and uh, add the suffix alif wata. Hazihi often haulai akhawatun. Pay attention on the harakas here. Akhawatun. It's not akhwat. It's akhawatun. Since in the singular you have a sukun here, but in plural it's changed to fata. Akhawatun. Hazihi fatatun. Fata. Uh, you can uh, see the spelling here fata tun and fata ya tun so there is an addition of ya here so fata ya tun it cannot be fata fata ta tun it cannot be fata tun alif and alif so there is a ya in between to make it into a proper feminine uh, jama and Hadihi Jadidatun Jadudun. You can use Jadudun for the feminine plural also, or you can use Jadida from Jadidatun. You can make it into feminine plural Jama Muanna Salim by adding Alif Vata, as we did in Jama Muzakkar, adding Wawanun Jadiduna. 
هذه كبيرة كبار you can use this for both male and female male and female even صغار can be used for male and female both طوال also male and female so pay attention to all these plural nouns can be used for both or you can write as كبيراتون making it into جمع مؤنث صغيراتون so you are making it into جمع طويلاتون طويلاتون okay طويلاتون and know that you can also make jama muzakkar with all these nouns as jadiduna, kabiruna, sagiruna, taviluna. So you can make all jama muzakkar with it. So let's go on and see more words. Oh, okay, it was the last one. Now we will read iqra wa uktub. So in this exercise, actually, you need to read and right so it's easy but we will do the grammatical uh, uh, reasons why they have the harakas and how to put harakas so we know how lai ismal ishara are mabni and so uh, and it's built on kasra here and haulai built i mean the kasra is mabni ikhwati now, ikhwati, ya, because of the ya, the ta is forced to take a kasra. Otherwise, we have this as one word. Ismail ishara, remember the rule of ismail ishara and marifa now. Now, when we ask where is al-lamat tarif, you should know that when noun is attached with a damir, it becomes a marifa noun. So we have our one compound word with ismail ishara. So this is our muqtada. Wa. So anything coming after harf atf follows the same Arab as before. So haulai akhawati. This is ikhwati. Uh, now please pay attention to the spellings as ikhwatun and ikhwati. They are both the same. It is ikhwati means my brothers. Okay. Uh, sorry, my sisters. Haulai ikhwati. My sisters. Haulai akhwati. Now seeing the alif and ta, you should know this is the feminine. Uh, feminine jama muannath salim. Now, if you want to add ikhwa, uh, ikhwa means I'm just uh, putting this uh, information here just to show you that it's the same, the word is the same, ikhwatun for plural brothers, right? Now, if you want to add my ya mutakallim to it, so it will see it will look like the same, ikhwati. Ikhwati. It will look like the same. So, if you want to know that whether it is my brothers or my sisters, look for the plural in the next part of the sentence. So, in this case, we had this portion in the sentence. So, because of this, we were able to make out, no, this is not plural for brothers, but for sisters. Because we see the alif and ta here. Okay. Min, uh, sorry, man haula il fatayat. Alif wata. So we put a single dhamma because it is a marifa and this we have one word. Man haula il fatayat. Who are these young girls? Haula i. This is our muptada since this is a, not a, it's into banatu. Al Mudarisati. Banatu al Mudarisati. We have an idafa here. So this is our khabar. Ha ulai banatu al Mudarisati. These are uh, uh, daughters of teacher. Ha ulai al Fatayatu Zamilati. So it is our <coughs> feminine friends. Abu Hunna. Their father is Tabibun. This is our khabar. 
This is our Muqtada. <clears throat> Abu Hunna Tabibun wa Ummu Hunna Mudarrisatun. Now, how do we know the harakas? This is Muqtada and Khabar Tabibun. Wa Ummu Hunna. After half at, it will follow the same era. Ummu Hunna Mudarrisatun. So, this is Muqtada and this is Khabar. Aina Talibatu Al Jidudu. This is Sifa. Vahabna. This is our verb. And this is fail and moon niswa. This is our file. Ilal maktabati due to harf jar. Now one may say where is the maful bihi here? But as I have told you, if you get your fail, if you get your file, know that it is a complete jumla failure. You need not to have a maful bihi. To complete your Joomla failure. With the fail and file, you can complete your Joomla failure. Aina bana tu ka or ki. How will you decide ka or ki? Ya ammati with the ta. So you will put bana tu ki. Ya ammati. Means auntie. Hunna. Uh, this is our muqtada. Fil matbakhi. And fil uh, matbakhi means kitchen. Aha ula il mumaridatu. Mumaridat means female nurse. Mumarid. Mumarid with the dad means male nurse. And adding a tamarbuta makes it a female nurse. Mumarida. And here it's made into feminine jama, so it's mumaridat, adding a suffix alif wata, muslimatu. So this is the khabar, okay? Naam, haulai tawibatun, so this is nakira, and now this is nakira, so we know it is a muqtada, and this is the khabar. If it would have been a marifa noun, then this whole thing would have been one word. Azwajuhunna. Azwaj means uh, their husbands. Azwaj. The plural of zawj. So remember the plural of zawj is azwaj. Their husband is mudarrisun. This is jama muzakkar salim. Adding the suffix wa wanun. So this is our muqtada and this is our khabar. So let's move on to the next two. Oh, we have more actually. So, man hazihil maratu. Now, this one is uh, actually mar uh, marah ah is known as, uh, known as woman. W o m a n. Man hazihil maratu. Now. Maratu hiya zaujatu. Now zauj plus tamarbuta gives you zaujah. Hiya smoktata zaujatu tabibi al jadidi. This is sifa for tabib and this is our khabar. The whole thing is our khabar. Hiya zaujatu tabib al jadidi. Abana tu. Now, how will we decide? Abana tu ki ya as Usama. Usama is the name for a male. Right? Usama means lion. Even though you have a tamarbuta here, there is uh, some exceptions in Arabic names. Some names comes with tamarbuta. For example, uh, Hamza, Talha, and Mu'awiyah. So all these names are with Tamarbuta. So uh, we will write as Abana Tuka, your uh, daughters. Fi Madrasati Sanawiyati Ya Usama means in the secondary school. Ba'aduhum, he answers. Ba'aduhunna, sorry, Ba'aduhunna Fi Madrasati Now he is saying Ba'aduhunna Fi Madrasati 
Thasanawiyati means some of them are in the secondary school. Wabaduhunna fil madrasati mutawasitati means in the primary school. A laka banatu ya laila. So a lucky. I Laila is a name for feminine. So a lucky banatu banatun. This will be Nakira. Ya Laila. Naam. Li banatun kibarun. So this is a kind of Shib Jumla because we have Mubtada Nakira and it is pushed back. And Li is our Khabar Muqaddam. Uh, li Khabar. And Banatun Kibarun is our Mubtada. Late Mubtada because it is Nakira. In Arabic, know that no Arabic sentence starts with Nakira noun. So this is our late Mubtada. Mubtada. Wahunna talibatun bil jamiati. Because of this bi hafjar and al jamiati. Hunna mubtada. This is khabar. Man haulain nisa ul attiwalu. So nisa is plural for uh, marah. Means woman. Now where did we do this al marah? Uh, that is the plural for Nisa. Nisa means plural uh, women. And Hunna Tabibatun. So in this case we have Muptada Khabar. And the Mirs can come in the place of Muptada because they are always Marifa. Tabibatun mean Amrika. So this is the country name with the long vowel. It cannot accept Lama Tarif. Atalibatu kharajna. This is noon niswa tells us it is a damir for feminine jama. Minal mustashfa from the hospital. And noon niswa comes with a fail, not with the nouns. The third question is let's see the third question. Iqra al misal thumma hawil al jumal al atiya mislahu. Iqra first read the examples and then change the following sentences like in the example. So Zainabu kharajat min al fasl. What the me did we learn for a male if it is a singular male and it is a third person? It's a guy. So the Verb we will use for male is haraja. Haraja. And when we want to say about a third person female singular, we will use this tatanis and it is the sign of femininity. It is not a damir. Please make a note. It's not a damir. It is just a sign of femininity. Femininity. Just, just a sign of femininity and Zainabu Kharajat Minal Fasli. She just uh, left from the class. Zainabu wa Aminatu wa Maryamu. So now in this case there are three of them. So in Arabic we have one dual and then plural. So we are doing plural, so there are three names here. Kharajna. So when you talk about plural in uh, uh, fails. So how do you know that it's feminine plural? By putting the noon niswa. So the name is noon and niswa. Niswa. Noon niswa. Al mudarrisatu zahabat zahabta ilal Firstly, okay, this is a printing mistake. It should be a sukoon here. Al mudarrisatu dhahabat ilal fasli. So, what are you going to write? Al mudarrisatu wa al mudarrisatu. You can make into plural. Mudarrisatu. It's our muktada. So, it's marfu. And uh, now dhahabat. What will you do with the dhahabat? Because it is for single. Now. Make it into plural. Make the verb into plural. The have now. Yes.
put in the nunes verb. Zahabna dash 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 dash. Now, al-talibatu al-jadidatu jalasat fil fasli. So, what are you going to write? At-talibatu. It's a marfu. And now, uh, the jadidatu or jududu, anything you can write. Jududu. Uh, jalasna. Jalasna. So that's how you will do your plurals. Uh, bintu Muhammadin. This is the idafa. Bintu Muhammadin. Zahabat ilal madrasati. So you will say. Banatu. Banatu. Muhammadin. Zahabna. Zahabna. Ilal madrasati. So let's check the next question here. Ashir ila la asma il atiya bi ism il isharati. Now you want to show with this, fill this, fill in the blanks with the ism al ishara. Lil qareeb. As I told you, haulai, haza, and hazi, these are all for the qareebs. Uh, these are for the qareebs. So haza for male, hazi for female, and both of them means this. And haulai means these. And both of, uh, this is used for both male and female. So let's uh, check what is used for. Haza or hazi. Akh is main, so we will use haza akhi. Ukhti hazi hi. Rijal plural of uh, uh, rajul. So haulai. Haulai. Mudarrisun is plural for mudarris, so haulai. Talibat haulai. And Ummi is single, so Hazihi. Abi Hada. Taliba Hazihi. Tabibat is Haulai. Haulai. And Tujar is plural of Tajir, so it's Haulai. Now, question number five is Da means put. This is a command, means Da. Fil amakin means the places makan and amakin. Makan is singular and amakin is plural. Al khalia the blank spaces. Min al jumal al atiya the miran munasiban. In the following sentences, you need to put the suitable damirs. So how many damirs have we learnt now? Hova, hiya, hum, and hunna. And uh, other the means that we learnt is Ya Mutakallim, Noon Niswa. And uh, before the, uh, how will you understand that there is, uh, this is the Noon Niswa? Because in uh, Jama Muzakkar Salim, you see a Noon at the end. You will check a Sukoon before the Noon Niswa. This tells you that this is the Damir Noon Niswa and not the Noon from the uh, Jama Muzakkar Salim. Okay, and uh, for what else? What the me did we learn? Ka, yes, and ki, and what the me? What else did we learn? Um, hum, hunna, yes. Man uh, hazar rajul. What the me will you put? Hua mudarrisun, because it's singular. Aina Talibat, now this is a feminine plural, so what are you going to put? Hunna, because this is used for feminine plural. Hunna fil fasli. Man haulail fitia, fitia, fitia. This is the plural of what? Al fata. Remember fata. Uh, this is um, home. Even if you are confused what is this for uh, young boys or young girls, look for the next part of the sentence. Abna il mudarrisi. Abna is the plural of ibn. 
So they are young boys. Aina Taliba to Al Jadida to Fil Maktabati. So what are you going to put? It's singular. So here. Man haulayan nas. So nas means it's a mix of both male and female. So we will use haulai. Aina Talibat. This is Jama Muannas. So we will use haulai. Min al Mustashfa al Biladati. So let's check the next portion here. Mm. Yes, we have the number number seven. Um, man has al baladu al ladi khalaja min baytik. So, uh, who is the boy that left from your house? So, if it's speaking about one boy, then we will put huwa ibn akhi. Min aina haulai adduyuf. It is a plural of doif, means guests. They, so haulai. Haulai. And min aina haulai al mumaridat. The female nurses. Haulai. Man hazihil fatah. What is the difference of fitya and fatah? This is young girl. Okay. There is a spelling difference in young girls. Young girl. So it's a single. Bint al mudarrisati hiya. Now let's check <clears throat> the next portion. Question number six. Hati. Hati means to give. It is a command and it means give. Jama al asmaul atiya means the plurals of all these uh, nouns. Ukht. Remember akhawat. Akhawat with alif bata. The sukoon will change. Bint. Banat. Muslima. Muslimat. Tobiba. Tabib Atibbao Atibbao There is a Shadda Sorry Shadda and Kasra Atibba Ba with Shadda and Fatha Atibbao And Hamza at the end Let me write it again Atibbao At with the Shadda and Kasra, Ba, Shadda and Fatha, and Hamza. Zawj, Azwaj. Zawjah, Zawjat. Fatah, this is for young girl. Now remember, Fatah, Ya tu. A Ya has been added. Why? Because you cannot add Fatah. Fa, ta, alif, and then alif and ta. So the alif is uh, deleted and ya is added here. Otherwise, it would have been fa, ta, alif, and ta. So it would. So this is totally wrong. The first alif here. The first alif is changed to ya. Why it is changed to ya? Because uh, in sarf we learn that alif is not an original letter. It either changes to wow or it changes to ya. So the Arabs made the changes accordingly as it made it easier to pronounce. Fata ya tu. Fata ya tu. Kabirat or Kibar. Anything you can write. Kibar, Kabiruna or Kabirat or else you can say Kibar. Tavila, Tiwal. Jadida, Judud. Ah, 
ikhwatun pay attention to the spelling ikhwatun here it was akhawat alif wa ta kabir kibar or you can write kabirun or oh, else no ba it's kibar jadidun so you can say judud anything you can write here so let's move on to the next asmaul ishara lil qareeb now what asmaul ishara we did here in the lesson in lesson number 13 it's hadha talibun or hazihi talibatun this is for feminine this is for male and for both of them we can use haulai as we did before so in our al kalimat al jadid it's zawj azwaj zawj means zawj can mean pairs or it can mean a husband pair couple or husband azwaj is plural al mar'a the plural is woman and nisa is women al mar'atu yadu sorry bidun bidun means without without lam at tarif is imra'atun okay you can see the im the kasra below the alif imra'atun there is a hamza in between so when you put a lam at tarif to imra'atun what happens the alif is deleted and the haraka is changed to fatha from mim sukun to fatha so it's al mar'atu and what is al mar'u there is another word in quran as al mar'u al mar'u this means the man the man so know the spellings al mar'u is for the man and al mar'atu with the ta marbuta is for the feminine and qareeb means near now let's see this uh, part g haulai ikhwati wa ulaika now in this portion in the section g you will learn about the ism al ishara lil ba'id where is the ism al ishara lil ba'id haulai for near and ulaika for far far away ulaika and how do we know it's the far thing this kaf please don't get mistaken by kaf damir even it if you see it is with a fatha over it it's not ka for you but is it is kaf lil ba'id it is known as kaf lil ba'id ba'id means far away this is for far away things or people as the qai as the qai means my friends this is plural for sadiq ikhwati this is my brothers these are my brothers and those those are my friends man ulaika ar-rijalu at-tiwalu ulaika those so this is for uh, far things hum atibau min amrika man ulaika an-nisa'u women hunna ummahatu talibati the mothers of the students abau tullabi the father of the students عند المديري عند المديري means is at present he is with the principal this is questioning interrogative tool aulaik nisa'u khalatuk ya maryam khalat is the plural of khala in previous lesson we did the male and female relatives of the family khala is the maternal auntie the sister of the 
mother. So, khala and with the tamar buta, you will make the plural alif wata khalat. So, khalatu ki ya maryamu. So, uh, are those women your aunties, maternal aunties, ya maryamu? Let's check the next. La hunna ammati. So what is ammati from am uncle and amma means a paternal auntie, the sister of uh, father. So amma plus ya mutakallim will give ammati and this is plural ammat. So you will first make it into plural ammat and then the ya mutakallim. Haulai atibau wa ulaika muhandisun. These are doctors and those are um, engineers. Haulai rijalu fukarau. And uh, this is our mutada because it's marifa with ismail ishara. And fukarau is our khabar. Wa. Now after harf at, it will follow the same Arab. Ulaika. Uh, in this case, we have Muqtada as Ulaika because these are also Ismail Ishara and they are all Marifa. They can come in the place of Muqtada. Ahniya'u. Uh, rich. Plural of Ghani. Plural of Faqir. Ulaika at So this is Muqtada. Sirafun. It's a uh, Sirafun is our khabar. This is Man Ulaika ar Rijalu. Who are those men? So Rijalu is the plural of Rajul. And there is another word as Rijlun. It's similar looking word, but the meaning is leg. And Rajul is man. Rajulun. So you can see the change of harakas here. Rajulun and Rajulun. So this is man and this is leg. Let's check. Hum wuzara. What is wuzara? It is the plural of wazir. This is plural. Singular is wazir. What is wazir? It's minister. Minister, whom? Minister. And Siraf, if you look at the meaning, it tells they are tinsmith, but the meaning doesn't go with the students, right? So I think it's a printing mistake. Maybe it's Sirarun. So they are small. Uh, now, how will, let's see the Tamarin here and go to the Tamarins. Or section ba. How will means change the mubtada? It's the same question as we did before. Now we are learning the ismal ishara lil ba'id. So we will do the same here. How will mubtada fi kullin min jumalin atiya ilal jama? We are going to make it into plural. So let's see the example. Zalika rajulu mudarrisun. So this zalika, now we are learning zalika also. Before we learn Hada and Hadihi, here we are learning Zalika means that. And for feminine, it's Tilka. So please make a note how much we learned here. Hada, Hadihi. And for Hada, we have, it means this. And Zalika means that. And Tilka. For Hadihi, it's Tilka. Tilka. So, Hada Hazi Zalika Tilka. This is for this and that. But in Arabic, we have difference uh, for feminine. And these, Haulai. And those, Ulaika. Hamza Wow. Ulaika. There is a Hamza sitting in between. Ulaika. So, ulaika for those. These are for the plurals. 
used for both male and female. Let's see. Man dhalikal fata. Now, this is, uh, it's uh, not a dot in below the alif mark surah. It's a printing mistake. Man dhalikal fata. So, ulaika. Ulaika. Ar. Ulaika al talib at tulabu. You can say anything at tulabu or anything. Man aina dalik al mudarris. Sorry, min aina is the question. Min aina dalik al mudarrisu. In hua. Now this is for single male. So what are you going to say? Dalik al mudarrisu. Uh, min swain anything you can say the legal uh, uh, ulaika okay ula ika ula ika mudarisuna suna min Asin. So you just need, need to make it into plural. Asin. So, Tilka al fatatu. Bintu tabibi. So, Ulaika. Ulaika al fatayatu. Al fatayatu. Remember the spelling? Fatayatu. Now bint will be changed to banatu. Banatu at. You can make a tibau or leave it as tabib. At tabibi. Hazel Hazat to Labu mean Inkaltera means England, Wazalika mean Faransa. So you will write Haulai at to Labu mean Inkaltera, Waulaika change. You need to change Haza and Hazihi, Waulaika mean Faransa. Azalika Mohandisu Muslimun. So you will write Aulaika. A Ula, sorry, Ula Ika. There will be no alif. Ula Ika. Al Muhandisun. Muhandisun. Muslimun. Remember the khabar follows the muktada. Muslimun. In gender and number. Hazel Maratu. Feminine. Mumaridatun. Watilka tabibatun. So haulai, what will be the plural of maratu? An nisa'u. Mumarridatun. Wa ulaika tabibatun. Jama muannas alif wata. An nisa'ulai. Haulai. An nisa'u. And wa ulaika ulaika to be batun. Okay. Ha to be batun will be nakira. And man has al valadu at tabilu. And you will say ha ulai. Al auladu. Auladu. Auladu at Tiwalu. So that's how you're going to write into plurals. Let's see the next ones. Auladu uh, Tiwalu. Til kal fatatu as to Hamidin. So how many things you're going to change here? Tilka to Haulai, Al-Fatatu to Al-Fatayatu, 
الصغيره تو الصغار ان اخت تو اخوات حامد you need to change all of them except حامد تلك المرأة أم الطالبة so you need to change تلك to هولائي and المرأة to النساء أم أمهات now in this case أم has a little bit of different in spelling letters أم you will write أولائك أولائك Ula'ika al-nisa'u. Nisa'u. Ummahat. Ummahatu. Ummahatu al-tualibati. Just for my nine jama. Thalika ula'ika. Rajul rijal. Tajir tujja. Kabir Kibar. So you need to change each and everything here. How lai a rejalu ta tujarun because this is Narik Nakira and Kibarun Minal Mamlakati Al Arabiati as Saudiati. Mamlaka means kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia. So that's how you are going to write. You need not make this into plural, only you need to make these into plural. Now let's see the next question here. Question number six. Ashir means show. Ilal asmailatia bi ismal ishara lil baid. So what are the ismal ishara lil baid? Zalika, tilka, and ulaika. So let's do this. A talib, what will you write here for uh, talib? It's male. So, dhalika. This is a good exercise to uh, memorize the ismal ishara for male, female, and plurals. Tujjar ulaika. Ulaika. Mudarrisat ulaika. And Tabiba Jadida Tilka because it's singular. Ummahat is the plural of Um, so Ulaika. Then Aba, Aba is the plural of Ab, so it will be Ulaika. So you're getting a um, lot of plurals here as Ummahat, Aba. And now Fallah is one farmer, so Zalika. Then Um Tilka. Then Sadiqi Zalika. Then Akhawati, Akhawat Alif Wata, so Ulaika. And Ikhwati. Akhawati and Ikhwati. It's for brother. So, Dalika. Uh, sorry, Ulaika because it's the plural of brother. So, Ulaika. So, let's see the next question. Next question is question number three. Hati, give Jama al Kalimat al Atiya. Give the Jama of Um, Ab, Imra'atun, Amma, Sarif, Da'if. It's the Da'if, Do'yuf. It's guest and Wazir is minister. Ism is noun or name. So, let's do this Um. Ummahat. There is a change of haraka. Ummahat. And in this case, it's ummun. Abun. So, aba. Imraatun nisa'u. Sorry. Nisa'u. Amma. Amma'atu. Amma'at. 
مثلا ضعيف ضيوف guests وزير وزراء just like أباؤه اسم means name or noun so it's أسماؤه أسماؤه it's just like أباؤه وزراءه أسماؤه and now they these four follow the same scale. Iqra wa uktub. Now let's see the iqra and uktub. What are they? Let's see. Asdiqa'u. Yes. Now these are the type of nouns that we did here. Aba'u, wuzara'u, asma'u, nisa'u. So these are the verbs, uh, not verbs, nouns. These are called Aghair Munsarif. Aghair Munsarif means Aghair Munsarif. So I will first explain what is Aghair Munsarif with the word meaning. Aghair means not. Munsarif means it comes from the word Swad, Ra and Fa. Sa. It is a past tense and it means to change. Okay. Munsarif, when mean comes, then it means the thing that is changed. Okay. So this is actually the name of an object, the name of the thing that is changed. So Ghair Munsarif means the thing that is not changed. In this case, the noun which cannot change. So, what cannot change in this noun? Whenever you see a plural having a Hamza at the end and a single Haraka, know that it is from those nouns which cannot take a Kasra. So, the first point for Ghair Munsarif is it, they cannot take a Kasra. Cannot take a kasra in majroor. What they can take is they will uh, uh, show the majroor position by position by taking fatha. Okay. This is the rule. For the غير منصرف. So if I say رأيت أصدقاء Okay. If I make it into منصوب رأيت أصدقاء With the fatha. <clears throat> Not with the kasra here. And the moment and the moment I want to make it into جر Ala, I will put ala, a half jar. So one may think you can put a kasra, ala asdiqai. No, we cannot put a kasra, it's totally wrong. Even in the majroor case, we will put a fatha over it instead of tam. Ala asdiqa'a. So this go the, this rule goes for these type of nouns and for the feminine names also in Arabic. So these are the rules. So asdiqa'u plural of sadiq, aghni'au plural of ghani and qawi, ghani with a shadda, ghaniyun. Qawiyun, Shadda, Qawiyun means strong, Atibba'u means doctors, Fukara'u, Faqir, and Zumala'u, Zamil, friend, then Wuzara'u, Wazir, minister, ministers, Ulama'u, comes from which word? Any guesses? Alim. Alimun. Ulama. So they follow the uh, scale of Fula Aau. Fula Aau. Okay? They follow one scale. So let's check the Asma al Ishara lil Ba'id. So, what Asma al Ishara we learned for the Ba'id means far away things. 
और मुजक्कर सिंगुलर जालिका मोहनस सिंगुलर तिलका एंड फॉर बोथ ऑफ देम यू आर गोइंग टू यूज उलायका एज वी डिड फॉर हाउलाई हाउलाई इज यूज फॉर बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल लाइक वाइज इसमल इशार अलीद उलायका इज यूज फॉर बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल एंड मोहम्मद दिस इज द फाइल एंड फेल मोहम्मद महामद वी लर्न ओनली वन दमीर जमा फॉर मेल क्लूरल एंड वी लर्न वन दमीर नून निस्वा फॉर दिनाइन प्लूरल एंड वन मे आस्क वेर इज द दमीर इन द वर्ब हियर फॉर मेल सिंगुलर द दमीर हुआ is actually hidden it is known as dameer mustatir here in past tense we have two dameer mustatir huwa and hiya hiya is also hidden in this verb as i told you ta tanis is not a dameer it is just a sign of femininity the hiya dameer is hidden in this verb dhahaba so in both cases you will say in arab as dameer mustatir taqdeeruhu huwa and in this case dameer mustatir taqdeeruhu hiya and muhammadun hamidun wa aliun dhahabu in this case this is waw al jama known as waw al jama and its name is jama and this name is noon niswa an niswa so this is the name of the dameer we learn jama vowel jama noon niswa and this is the uh, dameer's hidden hua and here hidden in both the verbs so let's check the kalimat al jadid da 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 iphone da iphone da for al kalimat al jadid the iphone the iphone this is the guest or do you if you can say do you also um ummahat ab abaun and the uh, the iphatun is the for feminine guest so both of them you can use the iphone and qawiyun uh, aqwiyau alimun ulama as i have given the plurals for ulama alim and qawi aqwiya okay so this is the end of our lesson number 13 alhamdulillah and this is lot of information in this lesson you should go and read this lesson uh, once or twice or thrice until you get the new words memorized inshallah i'll be back with the next lesson assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh